Welcome to Front Sight Challenge. I'm Dr. Ignatius Piazza, founder and director of Front Sight Resorts. You are watching the only show that features our nation's finest law enforcement professionals, military personnel, and highly skilled private citizens locked in an epic battle of skill at arms. Today's challenge poses three arduous rounds of shotgun battle. Each stage of our challenge is designed to test a different set of skills. At the conclusion of each round, one contestant will be eliminated, eventually leaving one man standing at the end of the day. Now let's meet our competitors. In the 1980s when I went to work, I moved from Pennsylvania to Texas and I started hunting on a regular basis. My weapon of choice for home defense would be the shotgun. It's much more powerful than a handgun. I feel I have a fairly good chance to do well. I'm a pretty independent individual myself and I usually don't like depending on other individuals to help me. I'm not sure that the police can be everywhere. I fully intend to neutralize any threat that tries to hurt my family and I would have no qualms with that even being a physician. The way my father taught me how to appreciate just how I used weapons was when I was about six, he had an old 22 caliber rifle, and my dad would give me one bullet to last me all day long and tell me I need to make sure I, I put that in the right direction. My dad did teach me that I had to make every shot count. Well, I'm on the technical response unit, which is SWAT, and I'm also on the uh, Metro Clandestine Laboratory team, which takes down methamphetamine labs. Well, I am the breacher for our team, uh, so my responsibilities are to breach the door. Before it actually takes place, the adrenaline is going because you don't know what's going to happen once you go through that door. To all pro cops, a doctor and a businessman, each competing for the coveted top position in today's contest. We've got a great competition ahead of us today. In the first round, we'll determine which of our warriors can best strike the balance between speed and accuracy. Expert ability to reload their weapons will be critical for our contestants as they strive to advance into the later rounds. The primary caveat of the day, do not short stroke the pump action on that shotgun. The scores will be determined by dividing the sum of the hits by the total time it took to make those hits. Our competitors are pumped up and ready to let the slugs fly. Let the games begin. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to Front Sight. My name is Brad Ackman. I'd also like you to meet fellow Range Master Wes Lahoulier. We're here for a beautiful morning with the Front Sight Challenge. Today, obviously, with shotguns. The first activity for the day is an event that we call Do or Die. You will perform a select slug drill and subsequently fire one round on the target downrange. We will be doing that under time and we'll calculate your final score using the formula that we discussed this morning. Wes? Matt, you'll be our first shooter. Everybody else, fall back behind 25. All right, Matt. On the sound of the timer tone, you'll perform a select slug drill and fire one shot. The range is clear. Ready. Nice. Good job. Range is clear. Fall back. Wayne, you're the next shooter. Come on up. On the timer tone, you'll perform a select slug drill. Fire one shot. Ready. Not bad. Well done. Range is clear. Go ahead and fall back. Joe, you're the next shooter. Come on up. The range is clear. Ready. Range is clear. Go ahead and fall back. Jeremy, you're the next shooter. Come on up. Go get him, Jeremy. The range is clear. Ready. Nope. He double, double pumped. Okay, Tough like break. That. Range is clear. Go ahead and fall back. I short stroked uh, the weapon, which caused the slug to reject out, which loaded a buckshot into the weapon. Uh, a little embarrassed. It's a pride issue. When I walked up here, I was thinking to myself, relax, be cool, press the trigger, and attempt the bullseye. I like the fact that I got the, when I did finally get the slug up out of my holder, I got it up into the shotgun, went in nice and smooth, so I could take time on my aim. 
A mixed bag of performances reveals the ever-present effect of adrenaline-injected nervous systems. We saw good speed and great accuracy, but not necessarily from the same shooter. Let's go to Brad Ackman for the results. All right, gentlemen, let's talk about your scores. As we mentioned, we take your hit divided by time. That creates your final score. All right, in first place, you did a select slug drill, got eight points out of 10. You did that in under five seconds, which is an outstanding effort. Your total time was actually 4.84. Total score, 1.65. Matt, you're the winner. Good job, congratulations. Nicely done. In second place, you shot eight points. Time was 6.88 seconds. Total score of 1.16. Joe. Thank you. Put you in second place. Good job, Joe. Outstanding. In third place, firing six points in 8.75 seconds. Total score of 0 0.68. Wayne brings you into third. Well done. Congratulations, Wayne. And Jeremy, obviously the exercise is a select slug. The idea is to get a slug in the chamber, fire that slug. You ended up with a buckshot round in the chamber, which isn't the exercise. Right. So you're disqualified by having fired the wrong round. Jeremy, well done. Thank we you. look forward to having you Appreciate back. It. All right. My experience uh, out here on the front side challenge has been awesome. I definitely had a good time out here. I'll definitely be watching Joe in the second round. I'll be gunning for him as well as the other law enforcement individuals throughout the competition because we do look out for each other. I'm sorry to see Jeremy go down the way he did. Uh, he's a great police officer. Jeremy kind of hit a tough break there because uh, he short stroked his first action and uh, came out ejecting an extra round and therefore loading buckshot when he should have had that slug. The adrenaline factor can sometimes make that happen. Failure to properly cycle a pump shotgun can only produce disastrous results. Jeremy was painfully reminded of this fact in round one. Know thy weapon. Dry practice is vital to developing muscle memory and the eventual ability to maintain a masterful control over your weapon at all times. Fine marksmanship crowned Wayne's performance, but he'll need to pick up his speed to keep up with this crowd. Despite being a southpaw, Matt was able to prevail although Joe came in at a close second place. All right, guys, you've survived the first challenge. You got to feel good about that, right? right? You bet. OK, we're off to run and gun in Ambush Canyon. So ready yourselves and follow me. I'm glad that I, I made it through the second round. I'm looking forward to uh, putting some buckshot on steel. My biggest competition will be Joe because he's in law enforcement and he works a lot with firearms. I feel pretty good about, about my chances of being able to win. My department works a lot on moving and shooting, uh, a lot of combat courses. And of course, everybody loves clangers because they, they make noise, they give you a little feedback, let you know you're hitting things. And I'm really excited. Being able to hit the targets with the first shot instead of using two shots, that's my goal. I'm, I'm certainly not as fast as I used to be. If you would like to watch the rest of this episode of Frontside Challenge, plus receive free access to see 20 different episodes of Frontside Challenge involving handgun, shotgun, rifle, submachine gun, and M16, then go to www.frontsidechallenge.com for your free subscription. Go to www.frontsidechallenge.com now for your free subscription to 20 episodes of Frontside Challenge. Subscribing is free, easy to do, and has no obligation. Go to www.frontsitechallenge.com now.